They might be musky. That's a musky tail, red. We are a group of guys from the heartland pursuing our passion in nature. We don't do it because it's easy and we don't do it because it's comfortable. We do it because something deep within us calls us to connect with our roots, step into the circle of life and to push ourselves to our limits. It's not just the hunt, it's the experience and it's what makes us who we are. We are the Midwest Outdoor Chasers. <laughs> Are you rowing? Yep. I feel like I'm doing it all. I'm rowing. You got it. All right, Ryan, you're on your own. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> That's what $7.50 will get you. You too can be like me. <laughs> $19.95, you can rent this truck. Man, I was working that thing too. I had it on a damn lily pad, I let it sit, ticked it, ticked it, wham. That's what I like to see. I am him. That's what I like to see. What's up guys? It's Luke, Ryan, and Curtis on the boat here and we also got Ben behind the camera. We thought we'd make it up to Minnesota one last time before winter hits and see if we could get on some walleye. If we do, we're hoping to do a catch, clean, and cook for you guys. We'll catch back up with you here soon. Stay tuned. sea cabbage. Uh, it's real high in omegas, really good in vitamin C, good for the heart, good for your immune system. Uh, I already had some this morning, otherwise I'd show you guys how to eat it. I can't have too much though, you know, sensitive stomach. You know. Get you some today. I got some too. Oh!
So with bigger fish like that, we like to release them. They're kind of the trophy fish. Baby makers. Baby makers, exactly. And we like to keep the ones around 14 to 22. That one was 26, so I mean, we can catch more. And those are kind of just let them be in baby makers and create more fish for us in the future, so. Crazy looking. Billy's trying to go down. It might be a musky or a carp. There's its tail again. I see it now. Oh, it's he's coming in the weeds again. Oh, hey, you're lifting the huge all the way up to this. <laughs> Look at that coming. Oh, my pole feels a lot lighter all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm on board. You're on the board, buddy. The spell is over. That's what we're going for. So we just, just wrapped up our morning fish here in Minnesota for the morning. Uh, last full day we have, we ended up with 12. A couple northern, Curtis's dad that went out, got a couple. Uh, did he get this northern and the, and the bluegill? Yeah. So we did pretty well. It was kind of a rough start early. Uh, I don't think the fish really started until 9 or 10 o'clock. So it was kind of a dry spell for a while, but uh, we ended up actually with a lot of luck and uh, probably going to cook a couple up for lunch here in a little bit. Yeah. Persistence is key.
put another. Is it good? Mm -mm. No, no one does this. You guys might as well just go fish. I'll finish this up by myself. That thing's usually a problem. Well, we did bring a spoon, I guess. It's for the tater salad, though. So the coleslaw turned out fantastic. Uh, it's a really simple recipe my mom gave me at our last family reunion. I actually altered it a little bit and mixed it with Miracle Whip rather than Greek yogurt like last time, and I think it turned out even better. It's a big hit. It's going out well. I don't think there's any going to be any left. So it's fantastic. I haven't had bass in a while. It's good. It's, it's a white. Good. Yeah. We had it down, McKenna's folks have a, a plot on the river and they were making up a bunch of fish. They had like crappie, bluegill and, and all sorts of stuff, but they threw bass inside. And I guess bass was the bulk of what they were frying up and I was eating it. I'm like, oh, this crappie's pretty good. And they said, that's bass. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, it is it's good. really good. I'd say it's flaky. I would say like any fish is good, really. Freshwater. But I would say walleye is like king of all. Oh yeah, just how flaky it is. Walleyes. I, I'm getting really partial to the flathead at, from this summer. The flathead is really good just because it's firm. Yeah. I can throw that in and McKenna won't won't mind at all. I was I was surprised because flathead is you wouldn't think oh it's just a catfish but they only eat live bait yeah. so it's not you don't get that pond scum taste in it but all catfish is good as long as you flay it right and get that red meat off of it. That flathead's a really good introduction to fish too, because it's it's firm enough to where it's just like a, a a step below chicken, almost. Especially if you get them really big chunks, they uh, they firm up pretty well. You get enough batter on it. Mm -hmm. You want to have more potato salad? All okay. yours, my friend. Yeah, it's been really good this year. We've had a lot of luck fishing this year. Yeah, honestly. we have. Boat fishing, river fishing for catfish, yeah. walleye fishing. I mean, before this year. I don't, I never fish on the river. No, I had no desire to go out that late. I just didn't think it'd be worth it. Yeah, but I mean, it's something different. Yeah, it's a good time. Get you off the couch and watching TV. An excuse to fish, <laughs> drink beer. So we're just wrapping up a fantastic weekend up here in Minnesota. First and foremost, I want to thank Martin for being such a gracious host to let us stay up here, putting up with us, letting us use us his boat and all that fun stuff. Uh, we just got done cooking up a bunch of walleye. Uh, we just caught yesterday morning, uh, made up some coleslaw, fantastic meal. Um, this will probably be our last, probably our last fishing trip for the summer, but we had a, a great weekend. I think we're gonna be coming home with almost our limit. Uh, it's six that you can go with out of state in Minnesota. It's always a good time and it's, it's all about friends and camaraderie. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps us out. We'll see you next time.